With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with a question which says a parallel beam of monochromatic light is used in Young's double slit experiment. The slits are separated by a small distance d and the screen is placed parallel to the plane of the slits. We need to show that if incident beam makes an angle theta equals sine inverse lambda by 2d with the normal to the plane of the slit there will be a dark fringe at center p0 of the pattern. So uh, if we try to analyze the given situation with the help of a diagram, so here we can clearly see in the diagram uh, there is a screen and here uh, there are two slits S1 and S2 and uh, a beam that has been incident at an angle theta has been given. So here it is the angle theta and uh, its value has been given as so we can write theta is given as sine inverse of lambda by 2d here small d is the distance between two slit as per the given question and we are interested in uh, to show that the uh, fringe that has been formed at the center at this point p naught is uh, dark in nature so from here we can clearly see uh, here the beam which is incident on the s2 that is slit 2 is uh, reaching first as compared to the beam which is hitting s1 so there will be a path difference between the two beams so we can write from figure from figure this path difference delta x uh, can be written as in this triangle we can say sin theta value will be equals to opposite upon hypotenuse so opposite is delta x and hypotenuse is d and this is the value of sin theta therefore from here we can say uh, the value of path difference that is delta x comes out to be d sin theta and sin theta from uh, above that has been given therefore we can write delta x will be equals to instead of sin theta we can write it as lambda upon 2d this comes out to be lambda by 2 all right so this is what the path difference we are getting and uh, we have already studied that uh, to get a bright fringe the path difference should be integral multiple of lambda and for dark fringe or we can say for destructive interference so we can write for a dark fringe or to be precise we can say it has to be destructive interference we know a path difference should be odd multiple of lambda by 2 so from this uh, to get the uh, at center we can say the value of n will be equals to 1 therefore we can say the value of path difference is coming out to be lambda by 2 so uh, we uh, as we have discussed uh, we for path difference of lambda by 2 we will get a dark fringe at the center and similar result we have calculated above that is we are getting path difference as lambda by 2 so we can say uh, the point which we will be getting at center p naught will be a dark fringe all right so i hope you have uh, understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today